Hi, it's Dr. Rudy Cashman, and welcome to another wellness talk today. And this is going to be very interesting. You know, a lot of us get stressed up uh, in, in life. There isn't one of us that isn't a stress. I, uh, I do. I get a little less stress because I'm not doing neurosurgery every uh, day now. Uh, but uh, that's part of life. So in the mornings, I take a walk out in nature almost every day. I have three different <laughs> outfits depending on the weather. Uh, so I, I, I write some poetry about diabetes and stress and, and nicotine, for example. Here's one on what I call forest bathing. That's the Japanese use this term a lot. And, uh, and uh, this will take about 10 minutes. I think you may like it. So uh, for, spoken word forest bathing. What a wonderful world. It might as well be spring. The falling leaves pass by my face. Raindrops are falling on my head, but I have a smile on my face. <laughs> Snowflakes pass by my window. I enter the forest for relaxation and meditation to get rid of the stress and do away with the daily mess. I hear a whispering breeze. It's a tease that makes me at ease. I hear the sounds of the earth. They're like music. A red-winged blackbird greets me with a tweet-tweet. I whistle back. And he comes closer. He wants to land on my head. Hasn't made it yet, but they've tried. True love. A red cardinal with a fancy hat appears. He's whistling at me too. I look at the plants. A dandelion is mine. Covering the whole field. Goldenrod, milkweeds, sunflowers, orchids, mistletoe, yeah, and poison ivy too. Barley and wheat are a treat. Yes, even I saw a marijuana plant, but it's not for me and for you. I'm walking over three-leaf clover. Occasionally, I see one with four leaves. Lucky for me, I make a wish. The red buds are blooming, beautiful trees in the spring. And the honeysuckle, too. An explosion of color and aroma. Actually, I saw it yesterday. Clematis is climbing all over the bushes. The air is healing with life sights, plant chemicals, truly feeling and appealing. I'm in heaven. <laughs> the leaves of green, red and yellow and gold. Like the colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky. I see a bird nest with little blue eggs. Bluebirds sings. Summer over the rainbow, the bluebird flies. The clouds are racing by, the sun, the moon, the planets, the source of our dreams throughout the universe. Mercury, Pluto, Jupiter, and the Milky Way. So beautiful in the morning. Kepler, Copernicus, Galileo, Newton, and Einstein, they made sense of it all. Use your senses, your vision, your hearing, your aroma, the touch and the taste to experience what nature provides and hides. Look at the plants, look at the trees, look at the barks, look at the flowers. There's a family out there. Yes, big trees have family members below. Look at them. The source of all energy, carbon, sugar, oxygen, and water. Mm -hmm. Like, look at the shape of the leaves, the pattern, especially the edges. That's biomathematics out there. Fibonacci numbers, the symmetry. One and two equals three, two and three equals five, five and three equals eight. That's Fibonacci. Five and eight equals 13, 13 and eight equals 21. There's mathematics and nature designed it that way. What's interesting is if you eat that way, you'll look that way, scientifically proven. 
Look at the honey locust tree. 21 petals. That's Fibonacci. The mathematics of nature. That's what makes you symmetrical and beautiful when you eat. Photosynthesis. 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 The electrical energy of the sun is the beginning of all energy. The CO2 of the air. The water of the earth. The green chlorophyll of the leaf produce sugar and the essential plant fats. That's where all our energy comes from. And then we eat it to get energy. The end of the universe, the sugar maple is a factory. Tons of sugar a day that feeds us all. I read by my maple tree in front of my house. I can't, still can't believe it. Makes two tons of sugar a day. That's what I read. It's hard to see. Yeah. Look at the crowns uh, of the trees on top, the kings and the, qu the queens, the trees, the crowns are on, on, on top. Yeah, small to large, skinny to fat, the trunks can be hunks. Hug a tree. <laughs> I do. Smooth, chipped, cracked, black, white, straight, alive or dead. When you're looking at nature, you see beginning to end. You see the life. Maples, sycamores, magnolias, honey, locusts, willows, walnuts, and cotton seeds, all for you. Many hundreds of years old. Respect, respect. They have families too. The river, the streams, the creek, the lake. I walk and stalk and dance around, full of God's creation. The beaver is using his cleaver. The hatchet teeth and the few trees are down. You can get mad about it, but they're my friend. The cleaver uses it to skinny the tree. Some have fallen, others are dead, but he's still my friend. It's life. The deer in the air occasionally see a fox and a raccoon looking for a treat. I see a friend, the woodchuck. I've known him for years. He's a vegetarian, like me. The kingfisher just caught a fish flying uh, from the willow tree, went down underneath and came, came up with a minnow. He's at breakfast. He has a, wing, a ring around his neck in case you inspect. Listen to the sound, the running water of the songs of the birds. The bees are dancing, prancing, and singing in the mosaic of wildflowers every spring. I'm singing in the rain. Raindrops are falling on my head as I have a smile on my face. A song in my heart. I'm happy again. I'm soothing my brain and relieving the pain. I sit on a stone and imagine its history. I do some yoga or some tai chi. I meditate. I concentrate on one thing and repeat it, repeat it, and repeat it. That's a mantra, mind energy. Love, 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 love. Relaxing, and enhancing. There's a song in my heart. The home and the melody of the rainbow, the symphony, the mosaic of interaction of nature leads to relaxation and wellness. If I rule the world, every day would be the first day of spring. Do some forest bathing every day to be sure to dress according to the weather and you'll feel better. Nature is my God. Thank you.